Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have with you this makeup look right here. It's a rose gold inspired makeup look. Um, I just got the Huda Beauty palette right here. This is the Texture Shadows Rose Gold Edition. And all these beautiful shades, purple, pinks, they just expi inspired me to create this look right here. It's supposed to be like a pinky rose gold shade. Um, I never really do looks like this, especially with like pinks. I did like a pink highlight, um, pink lip. Um, this is one of Kylie's lip kits. Well, not really. It's one of the little mini ones. But yeah, um, I just wanted to try something new. Um, this is really a nice, simple, like girly, feminine look that you could do for any look, for any occasion. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this look, then just stay tuned. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I would definitely be having more videos out for you. But uh, yeah. Sorry, I have a mirror in front of me and I can't, like, stop looking. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and stay tuned. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm starting off with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And I'm starting off with Sandalwood all over the crease. This is by far my favorite crease color. I am going to use this forever. <laughs> But yeah, I already primed my lips with my lids with just some concealer and set it with translucent powder. And I did my eyebrows. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Ebony and the NYX Micro Eyebrow Pencil um, in black. So I used those two and I set it with the Benefit Give Me Brow. So now I'm just diffusing that all over my lid and I'm using a fluffy brush. This one is the Beauty by Rosita brush that she um, collabed with and I'm just diffusing that all over my lids and now I'm going in with that second dark shade this is henna and I am again placing this all over the crease just a little bit lower so we're gonna do that transition from lightest to dark and let's let's ignore my face and I'm making um, and yeah just diffuse that all over the crease just like the first shade this one is just gonna go a little bit lower than that one and just blend your life away and I'm going back to that blending brush and I'm using uh, I'm using the same brush and just blending it out so everything can be seamless no harsh lines and now I'm using that third shade called man eater wait no that's not man eater it was cocoa sorry it's like a dark plum shade and I'm using that in like the outer V again lower than the shade henna and the lower you go, the smaller and denser your brush gets. So this is the one from Luxie, I believe. It's like a small tapered blending brush. And now for the lids, I'm going in with rose gold. These are meant to be used with your fingers. Unfortunately, yes, I do not like this. But, and then I just used a small brush to get in like the inner corners. And again, went in with cocoa and blended in some more. And I did apply lashes and I did a small like liner to blend in my falsies. Um, I will have the falsies down below. And I'm going in with Dandelion Comb Foundation and this big art, not really an artiste brush, one of those like fake ones, I guess you could say. It's a mock up of them. And I'm just applying that all over my face. And I did prime, I did, I, did, I used the Angel Veil. NYX primer and I am doing a second layer but this one's with the beauty blender because I feel like with the brush that I was using is not as much coverage as I would like to like around my cheeks because I do get like redness around my nose and I do want to cover that so yeah and with this foundation you could apply as much as you want and it'll never look cakey now I'm going in with the famous concealer shape tape by Tarte and I'm using light medium and light medium honey one is like a little bit more pinkyish than the other one so this was light medium this is the one I'm this is the one that I'm supposed to be using 
but it's running out so I'm trying to like save it as much as I can because somehow this shade is always sold out and now I'm blending it in with my beauty blender so I use a light medium honey for my center of my face so my nose my forehead and my chin I use the lighter shade I don't like my under eyes to be as bright and just blend away now I'm just setting that I'm doing some I'm doing baking if you may ask um yeah just baking my life away now I'm contouring with the Nars Laguna brush and I'm doing I'm using benefit hula right now just contouring my life away and now I'm bronzing and blending the contour with um, NARS Laguna. Sorry, I confused. Before I was using the NARS Eater brush. Now I'm using NARS Laguna. And I want a little bit more depth in my eyes. So I'm using black truffle, just the black. And giving me like a more cat eye kind of look. Um, and yeah, now I'm going in with that blush. It's Static by Tarte. And I'm going in with... Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Halani Palette. I'm using those two shades uh, and just placing that over my cheekbones. The theme here was pink today, so I just really wanted to go all pink, I guess you could say. Now I'm going in with the Kat Von D highlighting palette she just came out with, and I'm using that pinky shade. And I'm just adding more highlight because you can never have so much highlight. And I did use the I did use that Kavan D shade in my inner corners as I'm doing right now. And I'm lining my lower lash lower lash line with Stila black black liner. And just doing under my eye, under my lower lash line. I'm sorry. Um, I'm doing the same order. So I went in with sandalwood, henna, cocoa, and black truffle to smoke out that black. And now I'm using NYX Natural Lip Liner to line my lips. And I am just giving them more definition. And not really overlining. A little bit, not that much. And I'm going to top it off with um, Kylie Cosmetics Angel Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's a really nice like color for every day, like a nice pinky shade. It is a really nice feminine look. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Um, I really appreciate your support and please let's ignore my hair in this video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much so much for watching. I love you guys and see you guys in my next video. Thank you.